What's up, y'all? Trey be dipping in the building. Somebody just messed up my whole intro. Man, today is going to be one of those super fun videos. Because uh, after all those upgrades, your boy's getting retuned. You heard me. So, y'all going to get to see this bad boy on the dyno. Um, and the guy who's tuning my car, he's not the guy who normally tunes my car. Um... I go to a guy, my, my normal tuner, his name is uh, Matt Shue, he's in Richmond, um, but he was so booked up because of race season that he couldn't get me in until like almost a month and a half from now, so I'm going to another guy, and uh, he doesn't have one of the roller dynos, he has one of those ones that you take the wheels off and connect it to it, but either way, hey, getting retuned, man, finally be able to push this joint full throttle again, so stay tuned. All right, what's up, y'all? So um, I'm here at the, at the uh, tune shop at Tempest, and uh, it's, this is Joe. He's gonna be uh, tuning my car today, and um, he's just doing his prep work uh, to get started. I have to still uh, hook up the vacuum hoses for the uh, boost cylinder, and then after that, uh, it's in his hands. So uh, yeah. So yeah, man, we almost set up the Dynapack. I'm excited, man. I want to see what the uh, what the new uh, Skunk 2 is hitting for. And I did find out that uh, I had an exhaust leak pretty much from the get-go. I guess you can kind of tell. You see how black it is right here? It was leaking from the bottom right here. So I put a new gasket in, which I should have did the first time, but it is what it is. But yeah, man, if you need your car tuned, and you're in the Maryland area, Temp is racing. So right now he's just getting the idle. He's just getting the idle and everything, right? Just the preliminary like tuning stuff. So if you've never been tuned before, never been seen a dyno run, um, they don't just crank it up and go at it. If they do that, they don't know, you know, they're not doing it right. But um, he what basically what he's doing is uh, getting everything ready to start to do pulls, you know, make sure the idle's right, make sure that um, everything's running correctly before he starts. So, I'll see y'all in the next clip whenever we're doing pulls. <laughs> you heard me. So, wait a minute. take a little little uh, fix break looks like I didn't quite wire up the uh, boost solenoid the right way I got I, I wired one to pin 11 which was right but then I accidentally wired it, one of them to pin 26 when it was actually supposed to go to pin 25 so we're pretty much um, correct in that situation and then we should be back on the road all right so um, basically the uh, my EC wasn't prepped for uh, the boost solenoid. There's boost components that need to go, like, be soldered into the ECU um, for you to be able to run that four-port or three-port boost, uh, boost solenoid. But, so what we did was actually, luckily, had my old wastegate in the trunk. Thank God, because I didn't have my other springs in the trunk. So I actually took the 10-pound spring that I was running previously and put it in the new wastegate. So now I'll be at least running the same uh, pressure spring from before. And then uh, now we're going to put it back. And I don't have boost by gear or the boost of the noise working, but 
We'll see what it does. So it is about what we thought then. Yeah, but it's misfiring like crazy. Is it? Yeah, we thought it was going to be smooth selling. Just giving us a few issues. We're going to check her out. Does it, is the computer tell you like which one's misfiring or it just says yeah. it's misfiring? Here, feel it. Yeah, I don't think I've changed the plug since I. Yeah, hey, I don't think I've changed the plug since I um put the motor in. I put brand new ones in when I put the motor in, but they haven't been changed since then. Start smoking shit. I'm creeping up while I'm approaching. Mm -hmm.